suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another live episode of The Sit Rep, my show where I interview a fellow YouTuber about Transformers and him being on YouTube. And tonight, my guest from Las Vegas, Nevada, right? Right. Okay, right. <laughs> he is Courtney from C Jack Productions. We tried to do this a couple weeks ago. But you know how the whole time, you know, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time, Pacific. Anyway, it was a cluster, but we're here together tonight. Welcome, Courtney. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you for having me on, man, Jason. Oh, you are welcome. You are welcome. Looks like I got a few people in the chat. We got Fishy228, and I, I don't know why I can never say your name right. Ionicus. I, ah, <laughs> ITR is in the chat. I know in my mind, I know how to say his name right, but I can never, it never comes out. It's kind of like rhinoceros. rhinoceros. You're over here, going, uh, yeah, you're like over here, like Cobra. La, 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 la. <laughs> Ion, Ion, Ionicus. There you go, Ionicus. See, Ionicus. Like, there you go. Like, <laughs> there you, you said, I knew out of the 15 times I tried, I would have got it right. <laughs> so cool. now, oh, Jason says, go. Howdy, y'all from Alabama. Man, already. Oh, Kato. I know Kato. I, yeah, I'm checking out his reviews too. What's up, yeah, I mean, Kato? it's Kato. Uh, it's Kato. It, it's Kato. He, he's but, the uh, animal <laughs> man now. He has lucked out. He's got in with this uh, Animal Warriors of the Kingdom, mm -hmm. uh, this Kickstarter, and it's really cool. It's like these action mm. figure animal human hybrids. They're, they're pretty slick. Yeah, I want to check that's going up now. Okay. Um, about me. So I'm. About you. Um, yeah, I made uh, C Jack Productions was made during COVID. Uh, it was a fluke because I was bored out of my mind. Who wasn't you know unavailable during COVID whatnot? Some people and, had to go to work every day. Uh, yeah, true. And I work by day. I work in the school system, but by night I just do this. And uh, truant officer. And uh, short version is I was like, you know, I was bored out of my mind. You can't be a truant officer if there's no kids because everybody's indoors. So I was like, you know what? Let me just talk about some nerd stuff, anime reviews. Uh, I have a talk show where I talk about people, local talents right here in Vegas, underground, whether you're a burlesque model, uh, you're an anime collector or transformer collector like Mo over here, Starscream. And um, yeah, uh, and it just blew up. And, and that's it in a nutshell. I just didn't expect to, with no, no bragging rights, to have 4,000 subscribers under a two-year window. Wow. Yeah. And you, you get a lot of, uh, I, I want to say they're like YouTube celebrities from the... Uh, Never community. Yeah. yeah, where do you live again? Uh, <laughs> no, 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 you're fine. With the Las, Las Vegas, Vegas area, because I see you. Uh, what's the the makeup girl that you talk uh, to all? That Danny from uh, Comics and Cosmetics. Yes. Yeah, that's my buddy. I like. I love her. Um, she's not in Vegas, but she's another um YouTuber up and coming. Um, she's like a little sister to me, Danny. If you're watching, hello. Uh, check out her channel too, Comics and Cosmetics. Um, she's awesome. She gets all kinds of celebrity guests. I don't know how she does it. She refused to tell me. But it's okay. It's a trade secret. I respect that. <laughs> well, I've sent out a few things here and there trying to get some of the bigger names on my channel. Like, no, we don't know who you are. So. Jeez, I know that. I did have uh, on my interview show, Combos and Crafts, under my playlist, guys, where I, I interviewed, um, I don't want to butcher his name. Uh, he did the end, opening sequence for G.I. Joe the movie. Um, Larry Houston, took me a minute. I had him on my talk show. Awesome guy. He had his fingers cool. in everything. You mean the whole Statue of Liberty sequence? He did that? Yes, he did oh, that. that. That's right. the whole movie right there. I've watched that more, that opening scene more than have the whole movie itself. It, it, right. The sequence, like, dude, in the one scene where Duke punches Cobra Commander, and you see all the silhouette, that's hand-drawn. That's the old oh, school 80s. Yeah. We, I was watching something with my son the other day, and it was some mm -hmm. new cartoon, and new cartoons just look like shit. I mean, they're all computer yeah. animated. They have that same style, and just nothing beats the animation we had in the '80s. It just looks so much better. You can't beat hand drawn. Yeah. No, uh, don't get me wrong. CGI belongs in background, if you want my opinion, not for actual detail of the character. And what's up? Hey, what's up, kiddo? But yeah, man, I, 
that's all I do. But in a nutshell, yes, I pretty much do everything on my channel. Uh, I have local uh, interviews, uh, combos and crafts, where I bring celebrities, whether it's online or in the studio, with my boy Richard Mathis. He's my other partner. On uh, Matt, you're office. about to find out. Yeah. <laughs> See, Jack is. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now, Matt. That um, sounds like a type of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I was going for CJ Productions, but somebody beat me to the punch and they have the name, so I just went with CJack. I tell you, coming up, coming up with a catchy YouTube name is hard because there. you want you want something unique and something that just stands out. Yeah, no, it's true. And uh, hey, Jay Lee, I know Jay Lee. Um, yeah, it's it, it really it took me two months to come up with the name alone, and I had nothing but time during COVID back in 2020. You know, and it was it was tough. But I didn't want to limit myself. You know, I, I knew I wanted to have like five different shows uh, under playlists, you know, to, to do stuff. I'm starting a new travel show as well. So Nice. See, I've got myself shoehorned in as a transformer guy, because anytime I try to do interview or try to do anything else, mm -hmm. nobody watches or I lose subscribers. J just as, as a point here, last Saturday, just for something fun, just something different, shocked, by the fun. Way. Wanted to do the little bean boozled challenge where you don't know what kind of flavored jelly bean you're going to get. <laughs> yes. So I did that with him, posted the video up, only got 200 views, and I lost four subscribers because of it. And I've noticed with a pattern, anytime I do something non transformer, I'll lose four or five subscribers. Then I'll gain some when a new transformer view comes out. But it's just so funny. I've got myself shoehorned in. And if I do anything other than Transformers, they're like, oh, we don't watch that because he doesn't. I don't know what, why. Because I've got that new Frank Langella Skeletor. Right. I'm I'm reviewing that because that's a figure <laughs> I've wanted for years. I know yeah. we'll lose some Seriously. subscribers, but I'm reviewing that thing. I'm very impressed that you know about that. A lot of people do not know about that special edition Skeletor. I'm very impressed, by the way, as usual. I'm serious. A lot of people don't know about that. Yeah, and that's like... Oh, Anthony just came back from TFCon. What are you coming back for? There's one more day. There's one more day of it. You can't leave so early. Why I've been looking at the pictures. I, I cannot wait till October. TFCon. Right. TFCon Orlando. Look it right. up with the Con Bros. <laughs> what he said that? You know, uh, you know Frank Walker, uh, Walker? I always butcher his name. And um, and um, Peter Prime Cullen. himself. Peter, they were in my back backyard. I tried, but I couldn't make it. I was like, I had too many obligations. My nephew, we talked about that in private. I had too many obligations. I would have loved to have him on the show, but yeah. yeah I saw David Kay was Orlando. there. I'm really hoping in Orlando, Cullen, Walker, mm -hmm. David Kay shows up because, you know, I hate saying it, but Walker and Cullen are getting up in ages. If I don't meet them soon, I'm not going to meet them. Just, that, that's the way it is. Same regret with Stan Lee. Same regret. Same regret. I absolutely agree with you. So. Well, we can ramble on a lot, but let's go ahead and get into the sit rep. If you've never watched the sit rep or no idea what it is, for my guest here, I have 10 questions for him. Five regarding him as a transformer collector. And you can tell he's a transformer collector for the one transformer he has on his shelf behind him. <laughs> and then I have five questions for you as a YouTuber. So if you're ready to rock and roll, let's do let's this. Do let's do All right. Question number one, what's the appeal of transformers for you? Transformers got me through elementary school, not high school. The appeal was it was well written. Um, my protege, Orion Pats, just started watching G1. And he was like, okay, well, this is old. The animation has some errors. You gotta remember, he's younger than both of us. Short version is just focus on the plot. It was ahead of its time, uh, writing wise, you know? Um, plus, it's the only cartoon, if you really think about it, where each individual character had their own characteristics. They don't do that anymore. Mm -mm, not at all. And no. that's why you bought the toy. You, and that's what was so popular. Yeah. You know, you saw yeah. that new, well, I got to have that character, you know, and I've got to have this character, so on and so forth. So mm -hmm. it, it worked. So for you, what was your G1, the cartoon or the comic? Oh, the G1. Yeah. I'm guilty, conscious. I'm... I have degrees in different nerd categories, you know, Marvel, DC, whatever, and Transformer comic, I never picked up except, I'm a trader, I know, except for the uh, Dreamwave DW comics. Uh, when I was only a the Hell, Dreamwave, what brought them back? Because right. I remember I was on duty at a guard station after 911. Sure. sure. And oh, shoot. 
I think it was Wizard had, was the comic magazine at the time. <laughs> and I just picked up because, you know, we did, I didn't have smartphones and stuff back then. I'm on guard duty. And, you know, I'm here it's at a, a military yeah. base in West Virginia. I'm not sure we weren't going to be under attack. So we got, we'll get magazines. And while we're stationed, be flipping through. And I got a Wizard. And I flipped my shit when I turned the page to see that Transformers G1, this is in 2001, G1 was coming back. I was like, oh, my God. And, of course, I don't have any comic uh, comic shops around me. You know, I live where they pipe in sunlight. So <laughs> I had to wait till they came on Amazon in their graphic novel forms, not order yes. them all, or trade paperback, excuse me. So that's right. how I got those. Yeah, see, that, that's and, and that comic book license got my appeal. I still got the new original, uh, not Rhino, but the original DVC box set, thank God, of the 89 episode series of G1. Yeah, it wasn't Rhino. Who made those? I, I had those too. Uh, but now I've got, I've got the updated yeah. versions and the little slip yeah. covers. Yeah, yeah, but anyway. Yep. All right. So, question number two now, aside from G1, which is always the number one answer. What's your favorite Transformers fiction? Comic, movie, comics, uh, animated series. What's your favorite of all Transformers fiction? It's definitely animation, you know. Um, which one? Which oh, which animated oh, series? Uh, I, uh, season two. G1 season two was my yeah. all time. I watched that as a default. Season one was good, but it's a slow burn. You're introducing the characters, what they do. You know, it's just slow. I understand it's pacing. It's called pacing. Then season two, they had like the private episodes, like the master builder with hoist and gravel, you know, the independent episodes I like to call. And they had more character development. Oh, like Megatron's master plan. That's one of my favorites. Me too. Actually, like, if you, it, I mean, that, that came into argument that uh, what was the third Transformer movie? Uh, Dark of the Moon. Dark, mm -hmm. Dark, Dark, Dark yeah. of the Moon was kind of based on Megatron's master plan. Of course. And people debate that. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. Like, Yeah, anyway. I remember when I was watching the theater and they zapped and here comes Cybertron coming. I was like, Megatron's master plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know what scene you're talking about. All the 14 year olds in the theater looking at me. What's that old man talking about? <laughs> They'll never know the struggle. They They'll don't. Never know. That's like yeah. I had a kid in my office at work. I have some transformers on the back shelf. Mm -hmm. I, I remember I had this kid come in. And he's like, Oh, I love transformers. That first movie was awesome. And I stopped him and said, which first movie? 1986 or 2007? There was a 1986 movie. Come here, son. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> sit, sit, sit on my knee. You know, I work at a school, like I said, and I tell I these high school. To sit on your knee at the school. That's, that gets you in trouble anymore. No, I mean, not like that. Yeah, yeah. Let me correct myself, folks. <laughs> uh, uh, and I told my students, like, oh yeah, yeah, they're making a new Transformers movie, which I'm impressed they're continuing on. You know, whatever. You know, I'm, I'm exhausted. The Bay series. That's another conversation. Man, think about it. Forty years. Yeah. Next year will be yeah. forty years. Yeah. I'm three years younger than a legendary series. That, that, that's a lot of honor. I'm 43. You know, it's just, I, so yeah. You are young and yeah. I, I try to have a gray. Well, who am I talking? You got the, at least I'm, I'm not. Saying, <laughs> yeah, I, I embraced it. It works with the Cougars. But, uh, but yeah, man, I, I, tell, I tell these kids all the time, like, man, I don't mess with Transformers. Watch 86 movie and come back to me. And they told me, CJ, you know, the kids, dog, the first 10 minutes, the shuttle scene. Why did you iron hide like that, though? I'm like, just keep watching. You stopped too early. Keep watching. You know. <laughs> yeah, my, I'll have uh, my son will have friends over, and when they're off the Nintendo Switch, they want to watch a movie. What do I pop in? Have you guys ever seen this? And I'll sit right there with them. I'll watch it on my 220th time. I'm watching it like a first time. Sure. And I think I've got that movie every time it's come out. I got had on VHS. DVD, or special edition DVD, and then you get it on Blu-ray, and then I got it on, what is it, 4K now. Right. Let me ask you this. Do you think they'll ever, you're the perfect person to ask, do you think they'll ever add the additional clips that's dropping online? I don't know what YouTuber's doing that, but they extended the battle scene with Octopus Prime and Megatron. They're actually doing Kung Fu. Have you, have you seen that? I've seen that, and I've seen the one, the whole scene with Devastator. When, yes. When that. he rips into the room, he was supposed to take on Trax, Ultra Magnus, and a bunch of the other ones. Uh, infrared, infrared, Red Alert. Yeah, all the missile users. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know. I'd love to see that. I guess if whoever owns the rights would approve it. I mean, hell, look what sure. Stallone did with Rocky Four. He totally redid that movie. And some of these other, I mean, that would be awesome. 
Maybe before the yeah. 40th anniversary. Hell, you never know. Hey, Patriot, got something from Goku. Hey, Patriot, I got 99.4 on the Lego. Mar oh, snap. Okay. <laughs> that, that just stuck out to me. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's just one of those random comments. Cool. You're right. I, I, God, I've been playing Fortnite. My son has got me into Fortnite. Yeah. Thanks, Preston, by the way. Yeah. Uh, where were we? Okay, question number three. Here's where we're going to get into the figures. Seriously. What figure, mm -hmm. what's your favorite figure or grail? One figure you'll never let go of. Hopefully you got more than just Starscream there, but we're talking about Transformers. Yeah. No, seriously. Um, not the outside the Masterpiece Edition I of this guy. I still absolutely love Trax. Trax is my guy. I like the, the design. He looks close enough um, to the original car cartoon before they even redid them. And if you compare... Which, which figure are you talking Masterpiece tracks? Oh, no, just regular tracks. Regular, just regular tracks. Yeah. If you really look at it, they really didn't really do too many articulations with him. And, and you know, plus I'm, I'm a Chevy guy. So I, I dig his uh, his uh, uh, aesthetic. You know, I, I like tracks. And, yeah, the Masterpiece is... And he was a flying car. He had that nice combination where when you were a kid playing with him, mm -hmm. flopping wings out and you know, yeah, what was he was like the Transformers mask car. Yeah, basically. It, yeah. I remember the first time I got him, I was disappointed. You know, this is back when you're a kid and sure. you get the Transformer figure. Once you get him, you're like, why doesn't he look like the cartoon? Because remember, G1 tracks had a mouth plate and visor. Mm -hmm. <coughs> like, 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 like Prime. Right. Yep. <laughs> it's hard to sure. picture tracks with a mouth plate. Well, Oh, I, I can't even do the tracks voice right, voice right now. Well, I I went to Princeton. Oh, no, they ruined my beautiful Oh, my mind. gosh, they totally ruined my paint job, and I can't see that wearing a mask. Yeah. So I have to think a while before I can get these voices going. I always think okay. of the, the cocky rich guy. Good one, Buffy. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was pretty good, actually. Thanks, man. I try. We had this guy in – it was funny. I'm safe to say it now. When we was in Iraq, and he was just – the the he was just pretty boy through and through, you know. Oh, when you're with, fuck. with with you're with you're with the dude. Everybody gets a nickname, and so he was just so hoity toity, and we end up calling him Buffy. So through the <laughs> whole a whole Sorry. a whole year in a war zone, we kept calling this guy, what? "Hey Buffy, get over here." And they're like, "Why are you calling him Buffy?" I said, "Listen to him talk." A good one, Buffy. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And it's just it stuck. Oh God! How did he take that? I gotta know. He, just... he didn't take it very well, but he was a lower oh, well. ranked than we were, and he had to. Oh, he had no. Oh crap! Had no he had choice. no choice either. Right? He had no choice. Damn. That's what he had to take. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do a pretty good star scream too. That's that's my overall. You do a level. great star scream, and now I'm gonna put you on the spot. And do star scream. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, Megatron, when are we gonna go stop by the store and pick up Schmuckers? Schmuckers! I didn't want the Gerbers. Damn it! <laughs> I'll just do something. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know that's my boy, Megatron. No, not in the face. No. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I, I have to pull up my pants a little tighter and get a high pitched voice like that. <laughs> now, See, one I always thought I could do, yeah. at least I tried my yeah. best, was David K. I always like to try to impersonate uh, mm -hmm. Megatron from that because if you watch my channel, that whole Patriot Prime reviews, the third, that's me trying to do David K. <laughs> so it works. <laughs> All right, where are we at? See, see we derailed. We're, sorry, like a Norfolk, we're like Norfolk Southern. We just <laughs> <laughs> rough tracks. It's true. Uh, it's too soon, too soon. Yeah. Okay, what figure is your white <laughs> your white whale, your most wanted toy? Right now or? Yeah, of anything. What is a oh, figure? I'm sorry. Let's just um, say if there mm -hmm. is there's a figure you're wanting, mm -hmm. and if you've got this figure, you'd be like, I'm oh. done. I don't want to collect anything else. I am done. DK Blitzwing. Even though Starscream is my favorite Decepticon, because he's he's just Cobra Commander Incarnate. I, I don't want to ramble on that. Blitzwing is my favorite triple changer and Decepticon of all time. The, the Dakota, uh, Dakota, whatever Blitzwing. Not that knockoff one with the, the tank look like it's ate too many marshmallows, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. See that, see Jack? We might have to invite yeah. you to something next time. Or victim loss shoot. No way! Seriously? <laughs> I know about that. Yeah. Okay. Bert and I do them every year, yeah. and we may have to bring him to TFCon again. We almost killed a guy last time, but you know, 
<laughs> I, I'm game for that. <laughs> I, I'm overdue for a road trip. Fuck it. I'll probably make a Trump's voice. That That's a good trip. <laughs> you know what? Fish, Fish, had a good point. I mean, I want to ask you this real quick before I don't want to derail too hard. Frank Walker, and this is for everybody in the chat too, by the way. Not to, not to take over. I'm sorry. How the hell did he do Galvatron's voice and not blow a vocal cord? Have you heard his rants like on YouTube? Seriously. I hate I I hated yeah. Galvatron's voice. Same. He should have just kept Megatron's voice. Or gets close and let it name what is possible. I, yeah. I don't understand. I don't know. But he, he was just too high pitched. I, mm-hmm. I I don't know. Season three for me is such a mixed mixed bag. I mean, but had some really good okay. episodes. I had some really garbage ones too. And I, I just hated Galvatron's fun. voice. Probably piss off some people, but I hated Galvatron's voice. No, so, no, same. Anyway, All right. Okay. Here's our last Transformers question. What's your favorite Transformers character from any fiction or any media? Oh, Starscream. Sorry. I, I'll there try to avoid it, but I love I love the screamer. <laughs> oh, he I I Iconis can do a mean waspinator. Let's hear it. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'll have to type it in. We'll have to read it in the Waspinator's voice. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much it for your Transformers questions. Now let's talk to you about being a YouTuber. Okay. So you kind of went over this earlier. You don't do toy reviews, right? I No. I have, I'm trying to build a collection now. I'm late in the game of trying to do just that. But then I, I think... Yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. Honestly, that'd be my. All next right, check. so I'm, I'm gonna put it this way. I'm gonna yeah. reread, re read this pertaining to you. What possessed you, a grown ass man, to do YouTube? And I think you meant, mentioned it's earlier, true. but those who uh, just now uh, checking in, what possessed you to get on YouTube? A grown ass, um, gray haired man. Yep. To get on YouTube. Get it. Yep. In the wrong side of forty. Yep. Uh, Hell, man, I will be fifty in a couple months. <laughs> He's like, shut that noise. Um, it was COVID. Uh, my YouTube career was extremely quick, uh, early. You know, to me, two years is like infancy to me. Um, I was losing my stuff. I had stuff to share in regards to anime reviews um, of like Netflix shows, uh, Marvel shows, that kind of stuff. Whatever. I'm even doing The Last of Us with Mega Rand right now on my um, pretty much on a joint project uh, on HBO Max. So whatever I get my hands on, I just want to put my two cents on. And I made a deal with myself. If I break a thousand subscribers, I'll keep going. For later, it's really it's really simple. I just just kept on going. I tell you, it is so weird. I was doing so good. Mm-hmm. I mean, my subscriber count was going, and it just seems like this year, twenty twenty three, I'm like averaging one a day, maybe, because I got this huge gift package somewhere. From my friend Firetox, and he said, "When I reach fifteen thousand subscribers, I can open this gift." I got that a month ago. <laughs> I'm still, well, I was like, yeah, I, was yeah. like at, I was like at two hundred. I was two hundred to fifteen k, and it's just uh, hit the brakes. I don't know if I'm reviewing the wrong stuff, or I'm thinking. Trust your algorithm. Always trust your algorithm. Oh, that algorithm sucks. But <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I love this the, guy. The one thing I'm not sure it screwed me up or not is in 2023, yeah. I decided I'm gonna try to streamline my videos. Mm-hmm. Now, all my reviews before would start with you seeing me, and I'd hold up the box. Hey, everybody, Patriot Prime here. Today we're reviewing this, and mm-hmm. then at the end of the video, it's back to me. And I thought I'm gonna cut those out and just go straight to the product. And since I started doing that. I haven't been getting the hits. I don't know if maybe people don't like the fact I'm not showing me as much as I used to or what. Hey, for my usual viewers here in the chat, what do you think? Did you like it better? Me talking to you guys, you like the hands in front of the camera. I just, I tried to do it to streamline things, but I'm so long winded in my reviews. I mean, I spent 20 minutes talking about this guy, which is an awesome figure and highly That's awesome fucking figure. Yeah. Awesome fucking figure. And I don't know a thing about him. I know who he is, but I don't know a thing about him. I like the design. It's like if Cyclonus and Blitzwing had a baby. No, actually, I see those cannons on his arm. It looked like uh, Onslaught. He has those two double barrels on his back. Well, you could hook him on his back, too, and you could give him a fusion cannon on each arm. Have you not watched my review? Of that one? No. I'm guilty. (laughs) (laughs) No, I see what you did there. Check out the link below. No, but seriously, yeah. Oh, big shout out Rodimus, man. He's almost at 100,000 subscribers. 
we are not worthy. Worthy. We, We're we not are down within our presence and oh. <laughs> pull that matrix up. What's up, Rod? <laughs> Yeah, everybody here. I liked it when you showed up better. Liked it better the old way. Okay, like I said, I'm, I got. Uh, I'm pretty much done with all the new figures. I've got some G ones I'm going to review, and I always do me in front of the camera anyway because I got, like to give a brief history of the G one figure. I've mm -hmm. got uh, the rest of the headmasters to review, and I just ordered damn Facebook Marketplace. I got an Action Master Devastator. Never had any interest in the action masters, but I'm like, I got to get a devastator. He just looks weird, and he comes with a robot scorpion. You cannot go wrong with a robot scorpion. <laughs> He's a, a, a pet scorpion. It can't go wrong with that. Yeah, you know, no. pet scorpion. All right. So, question number two regarding you as a YouTuber. There's more people saying we watched for you, not the toy review. All right. So, right here, I'm saying you are entertaining, man. I you am are coming back. I try. It's like a, it's a gift. Seriously. Yeah, my coworker always just cracking up and says, You are so quick with like your thing. I'm like, yeah, I know it's just a gift. Um, mm -hmm. what keeps inspiring you to get in front of your camera? Um, no, uh, with humility, my audience, because um, I was going to stop at 2000. Um, I got depressed for a while. They were like, Dude, just keep going, we will still be here, we'll be, we'll be here when you need us, blah blah blah. And they actually sent emails and letters to my PO box. Actual letters, like, please don't stop. You're getting me through the day, especially during COVID. You're getting me through the day with your reviews and what random stuff you are. And this, that, the third. And again, it's like watching a network on my channel. You know, like, I don't know what you're going to do next. You know, just keep going. Um, we understand you're only human. You know, it's, it's just the audience is very supportive. I had no idea, like, the passion involved, you know, that I, I, I dig it. Just makes me feel wanted. Oh, here's something I can answer real quick. I got... I got your email earlier on my Patriot Prime page. I'm sorry. I don't get notifications on that a lot. I don't really have any influence over Toy Hacks decals. I promote their product. I review their product. You know, I got a promo code. So if you want to go to Toy Hacks, don't forget to use my promo code Patriot for 15% off your order. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things. You know, I could throw them that message their way, but they've already made the set. So like I said, I'm, I'm just their, I'm their voice. I'm their, I'm their advertisement. But I will share that with them. Oh, sorry. No, you don't suck review. Just keep going at it, man. I'm 40 and I just started the game. Keep going. And I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been going. I've been doing this five years now. I guess come TFCon, it'll be six years. God, I can't oh, wait for that. Yeah. So seriously, I'm. I'm. I can't afford to miss another TCon. I might see you there. Honestly. Well, I've already bought my plane ticket. Bert's got mm -hmm. the hotel room booked. I've got the plane ticket. We're just waiting on the uh, TFCon tickets to I announce. I was so, going to say they haven't announced yet. If no, you want me to pitch in, let me know. We're going to wait until yeah. this one's over, and okay. then they'll start promoting Orlando. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kato's right on this. I don't have influence on Toy Hex, but I have done Toy Hex under the influence. I can't. I can't with this guy. Have you saw? Of course, he's seen this stuff. Kato has this wit with him. He, especially when he's typing, like on Facebook, on Pressman on Facebook, he's just hilarious. Yeah, that's why we all get along. I mean, that's fun. You're playing toy acts. Like the one thing I've just, <laughs> the one yeah. thing that I've discovered lately is I, I never want to do a video of me like doing mm -hmm. toy hacks because usually I'm in here. This is around. I've got my old man bifocals on. I'm looking through the you know, it's let me see what that says. Right. <laughs> Cause there's sometimes I'll do the whole review and up until I actually watch it on YouTube, I'm like, oh, I didn't apply that one right. Oh, I got that one upside down. <laughs> Cause I just <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But that's your earlier question. I'm definitely going to expand my collection. I'm like, I put $2,000 aside. My goal is to get all of my favorite masterpiece, Autobots and Decon Springer, uh, that Blitzwing I was telling you about. Uh, I got to get Shockwave. Jazz is a must. That new Jazz, Jive, is it? I think it's called Jive. The new one they just dropped. Anyway, yeah. But Where is Lazy Jedi here? He was just asking me. He says oh, uh, he saw the new NECA Ed 209 figure. Yet he already has the Haya Toys Ed 209. Haya Toys a little smaller. Mm -hmm. And Haya Toys did a great version of Robo Kane, one of my favorite movie robots. Love this. 
And uh, was he, my favorite anyway. He was wondering how the NECA Ed 209 was. Well, he's huge. Damn, bro. This is awesome. And I got yes. the Robocop to go with him, but Robocop's still in the package. Get up there. You have 30 seconds to comply. 40 seconds to comply. <laughs> oh, love it. Good times. All right. There are thousands of toy reviewers, nerd reviewers on YouTube. What makes you any different from the rest? I touch on everything and don't limit myself to one item if I can help it. Yeah, that way um, you don't get screwed like me. I, but you, dude, you stop. You got at least five times the audience I have. Oh, you know, it's, it, it, come on. You, you're doing something right. Sometimes you got to keep it simple and it just works. Yeah. But, but, but with humility, with I enjoy you. this so much. I had somebody just recently subscribed to my channel. He was cracking up. Did you see the short I did with the guy from <laughs> yes. Brother going, yup. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Said, I laughed so hard at that. And I said, that's just something I thought up on the way home. I had watched Step Brothers the night before, <laughs> driving home from work, and I was like, I got an idea. <laughs> it, it, it did, you know what, though? In, in my phone is thousands of notes to write down, like, oh, I should do this. I should do this skit. I should, yeah, you got to, you got to capitalize when you have those thoughts. They're hilarious. I had this awesome China balloon skit, but by the yeah. time I thought of that, sitting down and uh, doing it, I was like, well, that's went over. Let's ah, that's one over. Ah, uh, that's old news. I gotta wait till something else comes along. Right. Uh where are we? Oh, did you answer your question? I did. I did. Okay. It, it was a simple one. It wasn't long winded. <laughs> I just a diversity on my channel. I just keep it simple. Playlist. Anyway. All right, buddy. What's the one thing that you find is hardest about being a YouTuber? The dedication and time, you know, it's like a drug because you're getting results and feedback from your audience. To me, you know, positive feedback, you know, not talk about the kickbacks, whatever, but the feedback yeah. and and making the schedule just OK. I'll, I'll throw myself under the bus, rescheduling, doing the interview. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, you have a life. I have a life. You got to do stuff. <laughs> so you know? it sounds like something yeah. fell. And, you know, when you got a room like mine, you hear that noise you're like, what was that? I saw you were like sweet wheel. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What does CJ Where have up we? and coming on? What does CJ have up and coming on his channel? Um, oh, not yeah. to be that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm Jason asked. Um, not to be that guy. Just tune in, and find out. But I'm my latest project is teaming up again with this other YouTuber named Mega Ran, like Mega Man, Mega Ran. Check out his channel. Um, he does pretty much hip hop beats using. He had permission from Capcom to do all the Mega Man. Music with rap videos. It's pretty cool, actually. Oh, and we're doing the review. Yeah, very cool. Capcom gave him a check. Lucky bastard. Oh, now I he's like, yeah, no, really, they did. Like, they, like, anything. No, please go nuts. Um, I was going to say, you want to see something horrible? <laughs> Let me shut up. What the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. Got the, the, you know, I was sitting there thinking about, you know, how things just pop in your head. And I was looking at that picture of Bumblebee. And I don't know if you're familiar with the individual in the pink. No, not the pink, but at that bumblebee. Yes, okay, but I have so, no idea. yeah, that's, that's okay. a story for another time. But I thought that that bumblebee, and I don't know why I'm pointing at the screen with that massive, massive rack right there. And I thought I'm going to compare that to something and just ruin everybody's Friday. So yeah, I did that. <laughs> just random madness. I love this guy. It's just random but, uh, madness. That's, that's yeah, the stuff I but, come up with. <laughs> But to finish answering Jason's question, we're doing a review of The Last of Us on HBO. We're doing all the episodes two at a time. That's it. But yeah, random, random rack madness. Yeah, random yeah. rack madness. There might be that'd be a channel for another video hosting <laughs> site. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> so last one for you as a YouTuber. Do you have any channel goals? And where can our users find you or where can my viewers find you? I have a link to his channel in the description of this video, but you have other social media accounts. Just, just talk them up. This is your time no. to talk about yourself. No problem. Uh, you in your squeaky chair. If it's, I know it's killing me right now. I wish they didn't give me this shit. Sorry about the chair guys. It's a loner. WD40. Uh, there. Uh, right. Uh, you can check me out on uh, Instagram. Uh, C Jack Productions on Instagram. Uh, and Twitter, now I'm self-conscious, I'm saying still. Uh, C-Check Productions on Twitter. Uh, I'm not on Twitter too much. My main focus is on YouTube. You can find me at, at uh, C-Check Productions on YouTube. Hey, you do a lot of you or uh, Facebook too, because that's me. I've got all yeah. 
I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. Facebook's what I use the most. Just it's recently true. got back on inter uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just recently got back on Twitter because I don't feel like I'm gonna get blasted every time somebody looks at my name, like back when it first started. Kato, <laughs> <laughs> Kato said, uh, Kato, I'm sorry. This is a loner chair, <laughs> and, and it's it's killing me right now. I'm I'm sorry, guys. And and as your question, Jason, yeah, uh, and you can find my uh, my pretty much CJ's random on Facebook. Feel free to join that. I usually use that for my uh, special subscribers to join the group. It's like I think it's 500 strong now, but yeah. <laughs> Picture, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's but yeah, awesome. that's it. Yep. The problem yeah, is one of my fans got me this. Sorry. Yeah, his fans were cheap. They didn't get him the collared version. Bruh. No, I agree <laughs> with you. Because I know exactly you know which album, you know which one this is. I'm I like, do. I yeah, do. but they were like, they were like, I got his like, oh, I sent you saw the X-Men shirt of your favorite thing in the mail, but he left out the color part. So I'm at my P.O. box, like, you know, I get kickbacks from my audience, whatever. I'm like, oh, it's been bleached. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's pretty much it for the questions. Now it's just uh, time for random bullshit. So let's let's talk. Anybody in the uh, chat got anything they want to bring up, want to talk about, are excited about, anything new in your life? Jim Lee don't need no collars. Amen. No, Jim Lee, Jim Lee needs artists. pockets. Wasn't it Jim Lee, the yeah. guy just loved to draw pockets on everybody? Pockets and yes. pouches. <laughs> He'd love the shit out of that. <laughs> See, Instagram's another one I don't use that much either. I mean, I'll throw mm -hmm. something on every now and then, but it's just, I don't know. I just don't get the Instagram thing. I like Facebook. It's more interactive. Hell, that's how I met you. So. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, and Euronymous has a good point. I only just use TikTok, Instagram, and that stuff to stay uh, relevant. I hate TikTok. To, exactly. But somebody told me, hey, you want to get yourself out there, use TikTok for your younger demographic audience. I'm like, the fuck do I look like? I mean, sorry. But still. TikTok, all it's done is shorten the attention spans of our viewers. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. each one of my reviews, even when I try to make them short, is always about 20 minutes. And I try, I go in, if you watch, I go into details. It's not like I'm just bullshitting the whole time. I try no. to go into details. <clears throat> and then you pull up your analytics, your 20 minute video averages six minutes. You're, you're praying to the gods right now. Exact problem I have. And I'm like, okay, let me, it's true. I'm like, I, when I was a rookie, I had 45 minute videos. I know, don't do that. Knocked it down to 30. Then you have to, then your time, six minutes. You know, I'm going with this. 20 minutes is my minimum, even for my reviews, right? And yeah. it's still under a 10 minute window. I'm like, you know what? Mic, mic drop, whatever. You're absolutely right. Yeah, so that's true right there. And <clears throat> back then, PPR stood for something else. <laughs> <I'll be fancy>. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. <laughs> and for another just random comment. Okay. Well, I like the Very Mexican good. pizza, but I'm not going like this over it. <laughs> I love the Mexican pizza. <clears throat> I, you know what, Kato? I wanted to touch on that, but you said it, not me. I believe in that crap, by the way. <laughs> anyway, I, I've actually started cooking uh, more Asian food. My wife loves mm -hmm. it. I've gotten really good at a lot of it. That way, good. I'm ready. What are your personal hobbies when you're not entertaining the world, man? Like, that's a good question, actually. Oh, well, and I'm not, I, I love, I, I'm a video gamer. Okay. <clears throat> I've been trying to get back into going to the gym because believe it or not, before I started doing YouTube and got the job I have now, I uh -huh. used to be a personal trainer, spent 10 years as a personal trainer, developed my own programs. And I was even in a couple of fitness magazines. So, huh. <clears throat> yep. Still, they, what, you know, somebody. people don't know. And yeah, you know, watching TV, watching movies, hanging out with the kid. Of course, we're, we're so waiting on the weather to break because there's so much stuff to do. We can't, we're stuck inside right now. It's, it was yeah. 81 degrees Monday. It is 32 today and calling for snow tomorrow. Speaking of which, I've been, I'm going to race in Vegas. I'm about to move from here eventually. I'm just waiting for my pension for my career. Um, it snowed here the most in my life since I've been here. And this is Vegas, folks. Yes, this, uh, the stereotype is true. We are a desert. We don't have fall and spring. We go from winter to 100 hell degree weather. And we're <laughs> usually at 80 by now. And it's still uh, the highest 60 degrees out here. I'm not complaining. 
but I never seen so much snow in my life in my hometown. I remember you posted about that on Facebook. And yeah. We we haven't had much of a winter this year. It's been cold and rainy. I mean, I walk out in my yard, it's like a swamp. And normally, you know, I'm in southern West Virginia. Mm-hmm. And we at least oh, yeah. get one or two good snows, at least up to my knees, but we haven't had anything this year. See. But this is March. And March, for us in West Virginia in March, we get every season in one day. So you really know right. don't know what the day's going to end with. <clears throat> yeah. So I ain't gonna lie, the early nineties was something else, man. Something else. <laughs> right. Or you you're around my age, only younger. Remember in the early nineties where everybody had those gorilla pants at the gym? Those are those god awful. Absolutely. Boys. I had so many pairs of them mother. <laughs> <laughs> it was a thing to do. It was but it was the early nineties. You know, dude, um, I, I had the gorilla yeah. gear pants with yeah. the fanny pack, of course. Of and you had that low hanging tight ass tank top you wore. The only no thing I 90s, didn't have was the 90s perm hair. Right. No 90s gear was complete without the fucking fanny pack. And, I and actually have I, have I have yeah. fanny packs on sale on my Patriot Prime T. Nobody's bought one yet, but I made them just as a joke. <laughs> you never know. They might fly off the shelf. Oh yeah. my God, it's hilarious. These went no. re- really well. I can take the cap though. That's, 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 that's your that's your signature look. That's why people want that. And we want my take on it. Well, something different. I wore the veteran hat for, for so long, and that was like my sure. shtick. And I was like, okay, let's mm-hmm. we'll change it up just a little bit. Mix it up a bit. Yeah, merchandise is next for me. I'm thinking about having some coffee mugs once I get an artist and all that stuff. But anyway. Ooh, I need to make some coffee mugs. Yeah. I'm waiting on hats forever. I get I'm gonna get uh talk to the guys from TFCon, see if I can get a TFCon. Orlando PPR shirt made. Mm-hmm. Well, what's funny is you talk about the caps. The mm-hmm. last TF con I went to now, I, I hate caps. I normally don't wear these, but when I'm on in front of the camera, especially when I'm looking like that, mm-hmm. like I got my comma, comma, Hey, all right on. My Goku. <laughs> and yeah. I always part of the thing was that way I don't have to fix my hair for my channels, throw the hat on. So when I go to TF con. I don't wear a hat. I got my PPR, PPR shirt on walking around and I had a guy walk up to me and, Kind of tapped me on the chest. Is he here? I'd love to meet him. I was like, I, I remember that way somewhere. Nobody yeah. recognized me without the hat. <laughs> that's funny. That's I'm sorry, but th- that's like I said, it's your signature look, right? Yeah. Like Clark Kent with his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I'm looking up through here. MC Hammer pants. Roblox is not lying though. Oh yeah, have me some MC Hammer pants. Yeah. Michigan. Can't touch this. So what um, what new figure you're looking forward to getting? Definitely, yeah, definitely that Blitzwing. Um, Decepticon wise, and definitely Springer. You know, I'm you, Norm, everybody else, Rodimus. Uh, I encourage me to restart rebuilding my collection again. But it's difficult because I collect other things. Like I want us to restart my sword collection. I got the Hazel Hantel swords from Kill Bill. Um, I, 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 first of all, I just finished my sword collection, the swords I want. The reverse uh, reverse blade sword from Roni Kenshin, truck sword from Dragon Ball Z, you know, uh, the twin lightsaber from Darth Maul, and that's yeah. That's the next thing. That mm-hmm. pint glasses. That'll be that. I'm will I'll make those Monday. <laughs> I love this guy. He's like pint glasses. Well, that's, that's, the only, that's the only one I've got. Mm-hmm. And let me see if I can find something to hide. That's for my very first Transformer convention. Hmm. That's what really kicked off getting uh, getting my collection boosted up. And that's where I got the nickname Patriot Prime was right here. You're kidding me. Because uh, I, oh, I, yeah. I had just got this. I don't know if you've oh, seen that's it sick. before. That's sick as hell. No, I had just got this in 2013 when I turned 40. And bad, it was like actually. a month month later is when I went to Shardicon. Yeah. And so since that was fresh and it's in Charlotte in August, I was wearing tank tops. And people were seeing that, and they were taking pictures of it. And there's a couple guys there, so hey, where's Patriot Prime at? And they they nicknamed me that because of the tattoo. And so when I was coming up with the YouTube name, there you it go. It just stuck. I thought because you, of course, you did the service, you know. Mm-hmm. And I thought you just mixed it together, but I did not know well, somebody. Well, that was the idea yeah. because, because mm-hmm. of the tattoo. I mean, I did military service, yeah. love my country, okay, so against the flag, yeah. love That's transformers, good. and mm-hmm. I always consider myself, man, I can get back to the gym. Just uh, Patriot, but yeah, 
So that's a that's a story. That's interesting. It's yep, funny how the press and other people name you. Very interesting. Never knew that. Well, Raz, Raz is talking about the geeky tiki's. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right, shoot. I just got a few subscribers just now because of you. See, Raz, I've got them all. I got Bumblebee. I got Prime and Megatron. I didn't have a shelf for all these, but my favorite. <laughs> I've also got the Masters of the Universe. I can't reach them. Hey, man. But my favorite geeky tiki is my main man right here. And he is my favorite because he holds the most. I love this guy. Wait, is that his theme? Was that Michael Myers? Yeah, that's that's that's, that's Jason. What I thought. Okay, make it sure. <laughs> I'm a big Jason fan too because that's yeah. my name, and I was born on Friday the Thirteenth. See, that, that I didn't know. You mentioned that before one of your videos. That's pretty badass, actually. <laughs> Yeah, wife just found this for me. I'm going to be moving into a new office at work, and she got that for me there. I saw you post that. That's pretty badass. So. Look like a Jason version of Howard Stern still. You don't know who that is? <laughs> no. Alice Cooper, man. Are Alice you serious? Cooper, this is a oh, right. Alice Cooper sung the theme song from Friday the 13th, Part 6. Got to educate Duh. people on my channel, for Christ's sake. Damn. <laughs> and, I'm an 80, and I call look at me, and I call myself an '80s baby. Jeez, I, I completely dropped the ball on that. You you dropped the ball and it rolled into the road and got popped by a car. <laughs> right. I forgot. Yeah, he did do that. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's one of my favorite songs. It's on. I have my USB stick in my Jeep, and it's it's on there. Yeah. So every now and then I'll hit. And yeah. yeah, you see me driving down the road, or people passing me by going. Got gotcha. you. Now I have to take my hands off the wheel, do a little air guitar. That and um, the, he did the he did the soundtrack for both Rocky and Transformers the movie. Vince uh, Nicola. Vince Nicola. I still rock that soundtrack. You want to hear a day. funny story about Vince Nicola? Hit me. That happened to me. So, TFCon twenty twenty. Hell, when, when did we go? Was twenty twenty two? Yeah, twenty twenty two. Whatever. Last one. Yeah, 20, yeah. So we go. Vince Nicola's there. Shit, I got to get his autograph. I love got Vince to. Nicola. I go on Amazon. I find the CD. I used to have the old CD. Couldn't find it anywhere. And uh, so I go, I stand in line, and I get Vince Nicola's autograph. Son of a bitch. I'm happy for a moment. Because I hand him the insert, mm -hmm. and I hand him the silver Sharpie. Mm -hmm. He asked me what my name was, and he starts writing. And then he stops. He looks at me and goes, how do you spell your name? And I looked at him real funny, J-A-S-O-N, is there any other way? So I see him actually make this motion and then start writing again. He hands it back to me and I'm looking and I, I'm pissed. I just paid $20 for Vince DeCola to sign hi, J-A-Y, scribble out, Jason Vince DeCola. That's unique. I'll give you that. So, well, that's that was me. I was really pissed when it happened mm -hmm. because I paid 20 and there's no, I don't have an extra one. And in order to buy another thing from the sign, that's going to cost me another 40 bucks. Get back in so line. I, just, yeah. I take it. And now it's a funny story. So that's yeah. the way I look at it now. I do. You I still have his autograph. Yeah. I've got a funny story to go along with it. It, it is. I thought you were going with it. He's like, how do you spell Jason? And I thought you were going with it like, okay, he's going to sign Patriot Prime and he's a, he's a fan. That's what I thought you were going with that. But still, that's still a funny story, though. Yeah. That's that. I can't reach to hang it up right now. How do you how do you mess up Jason? It's like a default. Okay, whatever. Yeah. I'll bite. I'm, I'm with you, have, man. I've never seen a, a Jason spelled the other way. Never. I work seriously, I work in the school system, so I see all kinds of different ways to spell Courtney with a K or et cetera. But there were an I versus a Y. But Jason, you really can't mess that up. Yeah, you Thanks, can. Lucas. <laughs> there you go with that win again. He, this is you, apparently. <laughs> right. <laughs> Thanks, Loganicus. I appreciate the support. But yeah. But all right, man. All right. Well, anybody got anything else? We'll wrap this up. I mean, I know it's uh, almost 11 o'clock on my end. And what is over on yours? 
It is, yeah, 8 o'clock. It's about to be dinner time, and I got to get back to the family. But I appreciate you spending the time with me, sir, and seeing oh, yeah, this. We, we do. We have a good Gary Chalk story. <laughs> yeah, it, it is true. Yeah. Jay and I have a funny year. Wait, what did he say? Jay, oh, me, he calls oh, me Jay. Yeah, oh, he's okay. one of the con bros. We got each other by name. Con you know what's so cool is Rodimus got us to be in one of the opening panels of TF Con. Just us random YouTubers, because Rodimus is the big guy, but he had me, him, or himself, me, Bert the Stormtrooper, uh, Engineer Hoist, Matt Baldwin. We we're all up on stage at TF Con, and what amazed me the most was people sat and listened to us just ramble on. Yeah, we're the we're the small fry YouTubers. I just I thought that was so cool. Of course, that's back in the mask era when you talking to people. Her, 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 her. <laughs> like the stormtroopers in mask. <laughs> I was born into the night and I was married into it. Um, and that's I can't tell you how many times Bert and I would get in trouble from the TFCon staff for not having their masks on. When oh, it God, clearly a- stated, if you were in the uh, Retail area, I guess. Retail what, area? Yeah. That's where everybody was. But you got out. That that was on there. You don't have to ma- have your mask on. So we'd be out in the hallway talking, and here comes the mask police. You need to put your mask on. We're like, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I do a lot of oh. on, off subject. I do a lot of anime expo conventions real quick. And short version is they were like, my buddy was like, you need to put your mask on. So you see how my headphones are? He was like, oh, yeah. God. He went, what, is, that, is that good? <laughs> he sure did it, just to piss him off. Well, last time, last place I went, it was a couple yeah. months ago. And of course, they're like, "You need to wear a mask." And I popped it on my wrist like a friendship bracelet. So there you go, I'm wearing. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I, I hate seeing all my conspiracy theories coming true now. But you know, that's what, the way I thought about the masks. So no, I mean you got to be sound. Just for the record, that's kind of solid. What you're thinking about, seriously? Yep. Yep. But, uh, so anyway, yeah, Rodimus got in trouble for not wearing a mask because. Well, What's that he story? Main, yeah. He was well, he was the main speaker at that panel. Oh, so he's standing up the microphone. He's like, fuck his thing. He just started talking. Rodimus has this, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, sir. He has this attitude I absolutely love. Like, I ain't wearing this shit. <laughs> and he's up there talking, talking. And after we got off stage, we looked in, and one of the staff members was up with that microphone, like it, it was dipped in flavor <laughs> juice or something, just lay spraying it and wiping it. Oh my gosh, somebody talked on this. You know how strippers out here anyway, they claimed a pole. <laughs> That's what they were doing <laughs> after he was done. You know, people are so whatever, dude. I got my theories on this. Whatever. I'm not gonna go that tonight. <laughs> oh, have you seen me destroy the universe? I'd vote for you. <laughs> no, I actually did destroy the universe. Here you go. That's, 80s toys has an eBay page. That's why we keep hearing the eBay ding. Yeah. We were off. <laughs> Earlier, we were talking with Matt and, uh, whoops, there it goes. <laughs> what happened? I leaned back and there wasn't nothing there. Live. Wow. Look. <laughs> what the hell did you do? I'm crying. I never saw that. What the hell did you do? So Bert and I got to meet each other in person a few oh, years God. ago. And yeah. we went to a, a toy store in Princeton, West Virginia. And we told him we were coming. Mm-hmm. But he set up this mm-hmm. really cool backdrop. And we were talking, doing a live show for about an hour, having a blast. And they they were showing off something. And I stepped forward. And I didn't realize I had stepped more forward than I did. And I thought the wall was closer. So I was just going to lean back against the wall. It wasn't there. I had moved that f- farther back. You're like, oh, shit. Forward. Thanks. Look at Rodham is still messing with you. He's like, live, mind yeah. you. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Your face was priceless. You're like, yep. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was so funny. There's people in the store watching this, too. It was like, yeah, hey, that's me. <laughs> but yeah, that's right there. That's the main reason I'm looking forward to TFCon. Yeah, I'd love to meet. <laughs> Uh, you know, the voice actors and get the figures, but I am looking so forward to hanging out with my friends again and meeting some of these other guys in the chat because we get along so well. And that's one of the things I love about YouTube. You and I have never met in person. We've never really talked at length like we are right now, but we clicked like that because it's it's all about this. 
all this mm-hmm. shit that's going on in the world. Seriously. And when we, when we hook up with fellow nerds, just put it that way, that all goes away because I don't give a damn about whatever you believe, whatever you follow, all, all that. It doesn't matter. We got this bond right here thanks to all this mm-hmm. expensive plastic, and that's good for me. And we've developed friendships that just have tested the test of time or whatever. Like yeah. Bert, I consider him one of my absolute best friends. I met him years ago via YouTube. He helped me boot. He gave me ideas to help boost up my channel. We can, I don't know how exactly we met, but he was in the military. I was in the military and it just, it just clicked with him. And then I meet Rodimus and I meet Cato and it's just same thing. Never met, talked to him before. Get on here, get on live. Boom. It's just, it's awesome. It just clicks. Yeah. And you're absolutely right. Camaraderie. It is. A, it's all unified. What you do in your background and your time, that doesn't matter. I, and that's well said. I agree with you completely. Yeah, because unfortunately for me, I, I there's I have no friends around here that I hang out with. Pretty much when yeah, I changed yeah. jobs about seven years ago, all the friend and everybody I used to hang out with, everybody just went their own way. And where mm-hmm. I work now, I got some great coworkers I work with. We just we're not hanging out after work. Right here, yeah. what I'm doing right here is how I hang out with my friends anymore. You, you know, I want to make an add in addition to that answer. I think subconsciously, I like the camaraderie. You see my Facebook group, the no. CJ's Random. Now, now, you're a member, in fact. Um, we just t- chop it up, mean drop, whatever. That's what I made it for. That's just a safe place. Yeah. Don't say safe place. <laughs> you know what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Wait, what did Rob just say? Buying oh, Mastercard. Buying toys is fun. Hanging out with your fellow con bros and nerds, priceless. Priceless. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> and just to show when uh, we were all in line waiting to get our tickets or something to go inside the deal dealer room. That's what it was called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you getting in trouble? No, this is my fiance. I gotta go in a minute. <laughs> oh, so, like I said, you're getting in trouble. That, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just might as well call what it is, right? We're all friends here, we know. But yeah, going back to Rodimus, I mean, here we meet Cato for the very first time, and we are all in line just shooting a ball. Mm-hmm. Cato's walking up the hallway, and if you watch Cato's channel, his intro song starts with, it's Cato. So Cato's walking up with his fiance at the time, just being cool and everybody. Here's five or six of us in line, and all of a sudden we yell at the loudest we can, it's Cato, right there. And everybody's whipping around looking at him, he's just like, <laughs> it's all socially awkward. Like, hey. no, like, <laughs> and then we got down to the lobby and we got introduced to military grade margaritas and we did the hot mm. chip challenge and almost killed a guy. It was good times. Mm, and it ended way too quick. And I'm actually going down for a little bit longer. Is since, oh, she's really getting me mad. No, 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 no. It's eight o'clock. You just thought about out here in Vegas, we have reverse happy hour. That's a good idea, actually. What, Margaritas? unhappy hour? No, no, reverse. We call it out here reverse happy hour. Uh, yeah, that's unhappy minute. hour. Uh oh. What do you do? Sit there, drink water, and be depressed? No, no, fuck no. Margaritas still. <laughs> <laughs> we, I can do that on my free time. Be depressed. It's <laughs> unhappy <laughs> hour, guys. I got nothing in here. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I, mean, I even bought. I got a uh, business card holder. I'm gonna pass or so I can shoot out business cards to people. At the con. I nice. can't wait. We got like a beach trip in August. I'm looking more forward to TFCon than my beach trip in August. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There we go. This this was our thing for a while. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, we almost killed a guy. <laughs> Fuck it, Rodimus. I love this dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's true story. Yeah, apparently. But but anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going down to TFCon. Spend a little bit more time. Is Bert? Bert lives in Florida. Rodimus lives in Florida. Hoist lives in Florida. So I'm flying in on a Monday or is a Tuesday. Bert's mm-hmm. going to pick me up. I'm going to hang out with, at his house for a couple of days. Then we're going to TFCon. And then I'm going back to his house to hang out for a while. So hopefully I'll get to hang out with Rodimus a little bit more than usual and some of the other guys. So yeah, I'm, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I may, seriously, I may actually invite myself to that because I was going, I was going to Comic-Con San Diego to pop my chair for my other show. Hey, wait but... a second. Hey, Courtney, <laughs> you want to come to uh, TFCon Orlando with us? You serious right now? Yeah. Okay. Why, all right. Why not? All right. Okay. So I just invited you. Uh, so now you can't thanks. say I invited myself. Come on down. Thanks. Hop on a plane. Right. Hop on a we'll plane. We'll, all right. I, I promise when you show up, we're going to be like, who the hell are you? 
I know, right? Budget. I'm like, I'm there. Oh, it's a new guy. Like, like in the military. Ah, it's a new guy. Ah, go get our suitcases. <laughs> so anyway. All right. So why not? I'm in Vegas. Yeah, man. Come on. Come on down. We'll have a blast. You, you'll have friends guaranteed already be there. I mean, it's, no, all it's, jokes aside, I'm gonna see. It's so much in. fun. It's so much fun. Okay. All right. All Hotel, right. Tell the fellow Vegas fan. I appreciate the support. Big Banks is a scalper store here in Vegas. Really? Big oh, anyway. Hmm. 2023 Sorry. one chip. I was tell you, if it comes out by October, we will. It basically. So. <laughs> yeah. Last one about killed me. <clears throat> All right. So it's been an hour. It's 11 o'clock. Big shout out and thank you to Courtney for showing up on the channel at the correct time this time. Thank you for that. <laughs> it's <laughs> like your time folks. zones. Um, yeah. Any last words, my friend? No, just uh, if you guys are interested, again, CJ Productions on YouTube. Check out CJ's Random on Facebook. And uh, please continue supporting my boy, Jason. He's Thank awesome. you very much. And I got I added this to the list of videos you guys can watch. We'll end with uh, what it looked like when I got the rotten egg jelly belly. Enjoy. Oh. Right, ready? Yeah. In three, two, one. It smells bad. Shit. What is it supposed to be? <coughs> what is it? I didn't even get the cup. <coughs> <coughs> Are you okay? That was rotten egg. <coughs> God. <coughs> <laughs> All right, man, I need a good one now. The look of horror and disdain on your face, the realization like mistakes have been made. <laughs> yeah, I hate eggs anyway. That's just yeah. like, oh, and you saw how much pity my son had for me. <laughs> oh, kids are the worst. When they're that young, there's nothing more cruel than a child. Oh, exactly. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, we're, we're going to cut it off uh, now. Uh, CJ, once again, thank you so much for uh, joining the channel. Everybody make sure and subscribe to him. Link to in the description of this video. And for me, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. This is Patriot Prime signing out. And his squeaky chair is still a-going. Hello! <laughs> <laughs>